Hello fellow flautists, this is Paradox2767, and today, let's chat about Stifler. No, I don't mean the Stiffmeister, or his brother Matt, nor their mom Janine, or their cousins Eric and Dwight, or whoever Scott Stifler was supposed to be, but Stephanie. Recently, my wife and I sat down for a three-day binge of all nine American Pie movies, burning a few brain cells in the name of science. Relatively new to the series, we wanted to see at last what the hype for these iconic films was all about. And that we did, sitting through the good, the bad, and the ugly of the four main films and their five direct-to-DVD sequels, wondering all the while what audiences had to say about each individual title. The review that surprised us the most when we finally looked into it? How low the latest film in the franchise, American Pie Presents Girls Rules, scored with audiences, especially in regards to the newest leaf of the Stifler family tree, Stephanie. IMDb is riddled with complaints of the character's departure from a typical Stifler, something we pretty much wholeheartedly disagreed with. So I thought I'd take a minute to explain why Stephanie might not be so different from the other Stiflers after all. I thought it best to start with the extended Stifler family, then finish in the beer of the Stiffmeister himself, so let's get to it. In my opinion, basically every trait of Stephanie can be traced back to another member of the family. People complain about her seeming too soft, going too romantic, and falling for a childhood friend. Yet, that's exactly what happens in Bandcamp with Matt Stifler, who himself slowly softens in developing feelings for his childhood friend Elise, eventually ending up with her the same. It's just like Eric Stifler in The Naked Mile when he too decides to pursue a more serious romantic relationship over just a series of casual hookups. That aside, Stephanie still might seem a little less obnoxious than her many male counterparts, sincerely caring for her friends over being more of the lone wolf type like we've come to know in the Stiffmeister. But to that I say, so too does Dwight Stifler care for others in both the Naked Mile and Beta House. To be honest, Dwight's really not that bad of a guy. A little hyperactive maybe, but always looking out for his cousin Eric and their friends, just like Stephanie might. In fact, because of his heart, I feel like, even though it's never explicitly explained, Stephanie's most likely connection to the rest of the Stifler clan is through having Dwight as an older brother. And as for the penultimate spin-off of the franchise, the abysmal book of love, well, I guess Stephanie can handle a man who's hung like a moose as well as Scott Stifler could. But of course, of all her many relatives, I'd say Stephanie has most in common with Steve Stifler himself, ironic in light of all the online complaints. After all, she's the only other stifler besides Steve to play lacrosse, she air humps obnoxiously when her crush isn't watching, she's happy to be the center of attention, and is even known for throwing stifler house parties designed as a hotspot for hooking up. With pretty much everything Stephanie does, she proves herself a stifler through and through. In the end, it seems a lot of people found girls' rules too focused on the emotional side of high school relationships than on the raunch of the rest of the franchise, but really, isn't that just getting back to the roots of the original American Pie? Think back to your first slice with that 1999 cast of characters. Jim's coming of age is entirely based on learning who he is romantically as a man. Oz's whole character arc centers around becoming more sensitive to connect with a nice girl. Finch is defined by his being too mature for the base high school activities enjoyed by the rest of his friends. And Kevin might be the most sensitive of them all, with his sex bible quest to please his girlfriend and his sentimental speeches about the future. The first American Pie didn't become a classic based solely on its absurd scenarios and sexual escapades. It became a classic because it spoke from the heart. The same is true of all the best films of the franchise, up to and including Girls Rules. The Stiffmeister was thrown into that first apple pie to add a dash of insanity to the recipe, and I believe his cousin Stephanie does well to uphold that American tradition.